By the end of this video, you will view knuckleball free kicks completely differently in FIFA 21. So stay tuned. It is David Luiz. Oh, extraordinary goal! Free kicks in FIFA is one of the most under-analyzed aspects of the game, mainly because it's just so incredibly complex and hard to break down in simple terms. One such complex move is the knuckleball free kick. The knuckleball free kick is when the ball moves in all directions and it's really unpredictable for the goalkeeper to save it. The thing to keep in mind is that the knuckleball is really random and missing the goal is really easy when you start learning these free kicks. I do agree the best place to learn these free kicks is not the skill games, rather in the practice arena because you literally take the ball anywhere and just press the d-pad on your controller and you get a very long range shot to practice with. The ball during this free kick is travelling very fast and needs a lot of distance to dip back down. So practicing these free kicks from very long ranges is the best option you have. Now the question arrives, where to use these free kicks? Well the best place to use them is 30 yards to 40 yards, but you can essentially use them anywhere on the pitch. The reason we need so much distance as I explained earlier, since the ball has a lot of time to hit the target after doing all the left and right movements it has to go through. You can also use these free kicks in the zero angle situations when the free kicks are awarded near the wings and your opponents expect you to cross it in. Before you strike the free kicks you can change the standing position of your player with moving your right stick left or right. The different standing positions help your player to strike your ball in different types of free kicks. In my experience the default standing position when you don't change anything and the straight standing position work the best for the knuckleball. Now the best way to aim your free kicks is what's the most important when taking a knuckleball free kick. The top right hand corner of the goal is where you should aim your circle. The reason is that it's generally the hardest spot for the goalkeepers to reach and you can expect maximum results when aiming here. Your aim will change accordingly obviously when you play against good players online and they start to move their goalkeeper left and right then you have to move accordingly if they move their goalkeeper left you aim to the right when this happens basically you have to play a mind game with them and you learn this eventually if you practice enough. Now I'll explain to you what buttons you have to press to take these free kicks. The controls of these free kicks are very hard so please listen carefully. Now the left stick of your controller is used to aim the circle around. This circle that you put on the goal I'm talking about. As soon as you put the circle on the top right corner, immediately press the shoot button to power up your shot. What this does is it locks your circle into position and it never moves from there. Now when you power up the shot, your player will start moving towards the ball and what you have to do quickly is flick your right stick down, then up and then flick it back down. When you do that, you will see your circle do this animation. If your circle looks like this in the end of everything that means you have done everything right and remember a white circle with a small plus sign in the middle means that it's the knuckleball free kick. Now the shot power is extremely important to get right and it is responsible for the amount of knuckleball you'll see on your strike. More power means more knuckleball but then your shot will be inaccurate so basically it's a high risk high reward thing. The best power I've noticed is 3 bars of power for closer ranges of free kicks but if your free kicks are more than 35 yards, 3.5 bars of power is essential to beat the goalkeeper. Now this is the section of the video which is slightly advanced and it takes a bit of practice. You can time your free kicks in FIFA 21 and it's the best way to reduce randomness of the knuckleball free kicks. The timing is completely optional and you can ignore this part if you want but if you time them properly you can hit, hit screamers in the top corner. To time your free kicks you can press the shoot button again as soon as your player touches the ball with his feet. Like let me show you, I'll power up my shot and then my player starts moving towards the ball. Then I do my own down up down with my right stick and then press the shoot button again to time my free kicks. I know it's a lot of things to do at once but if you practice it should be fine. If you time your free kicks properly you will see the color go green and if you miss time these free kicks you'll see the color go red or yellow which is an inaccurate shot. And finally you have to also make sure who you're shooting the ball with before you do all these steps. To change the player taking the free kick press the RT R2 button and this menu pops up. 
Now this is the menu where you can compare the stats of all the players in your team. The two stats that you're looking for is free kick accuracy and shot power. I would prioritize shot power over free kick accuracy since it's more important to perform the knuckleball free kick. Now let's look at some examples of the knuckleball free kicks and how I perform them. Is there as well. It is David Luiz. Oh, extraordinary goal! I think this video should have explained all your doubts regarding the knuckleball free kick in FIFA 21 and I want you guys to go ahead and give it a try yourself see if you can even hit the target as first as I said earlier these free kicks are very hard to score so I recommend just have some fun while practicing them the shadow.